The UNI men's basketball team is still sorting through this year's non-conference opponents, but appear to have games with Marshall, Richmond, and New Mexico State on the schedule. What we know for certain, though, is the scheduled conference portion of the year, and that will have the same format as years past. You know, I look forward to, I think we all do, we look forward to the day that that conference schedule comes out, you know, seeing who do you open with and who do you close with, and then you take a look in between and see what you got going on. The UNI men's basketball team sees games on this schedule for the first time since all postseason play was canceled last March. The Panthers returned two first-team All-MEC honorees, Austin Fife and Player of the Year A.J. Green. They're joined by Trey Burhau, who landed on the All-Improved team, Ty Pickford, an All-Freshman team pick in 2018, three players that saw action as true freshmen last year, and seven high-caliber players looking to contribute for the first time. They'll be facing a conference that also returns loads of experience. We return a bunch, Loyola returns a bunch, Drake returns a bunch, Indiana State returns a bunch, Bradley returns a bunch, and I could, we're already halfway there, right? I, I just, yeah, it's gonna be good. It was, last year was as good as it's been in a while. We made a huge jump from two years ago to last year. And I don't see any reason why we won't be at the same level we were a year ago. And depending on how the non-conference shakes out, what happens in November and December, that we couldn't be a little bit better just because we've got, we've got so many guys back. The UNI Panthers play three of the first four conference games at home. They play both Bradley and Missouri State twice in the first nine games. The second half of the season has two games against former UNI player Darren DeVries, who's in his third season as head coach at Drake. He's done a great job in a, in a short time, and they've, they've got a they've got a really good roster back. You know, they they have now I don't know maybe the most experience they've had. You know, for sure. You know, with him, you know, in his first year there were some older guys, but they've been together now for a couple years, and so they've got some experience to back it up, and they got some terrific players. The Loyola Ramblers also show up twice in February, a season after two overtime games with the Panthers saw each team winning once. We've got a ton of respect for, for uh, what they do and how they do it, you know, how they play, how competitive they are, uh, the way they pass the basketball. Like There's so many things that I appreciate about the way they play, and, uh, and Porter and I have gotten to be you know, terrific friends, but I just look forward to the competition. I mean, I mean you, you, when you do this, you look forward to the competition, and that one's been, those games have been great, and, and uh, got a feeling it's going to be another one. That will do it for today's Panther Sports Talk. We understand there will likely be some adjustments to these upcoming schedules, but you can follow us each week here on Panther Sports Talk, as well as on our Twitter and Facebook accounts for the latest on the UNI Panthers. Thanks for watching.